Today, we're gonna to look at all the drone moves for the DJI Mini 3 Pro, from active track, spotlight, position of interest, quick shots, master shots, and hyperlapse. So let's dive in and take a look. We'll go through the drone moves now. It's a lot windier than anticipated, so we'll see how we get on. So first of all, we need to click on the symbol where it says camera or video. Click on quick shot and you can see we've got droney, rocket, circle, helix, boomerang and asteroid. So let's just go through those and see how they look. Point here and start the drone shot from there. It will complete the move and come back to its start point. We will do rocket. Draw around it. Start again. And next we'll do circle. Decent height. Again, we'll select the top of the building. Flying into wind now. Heal it. Burn my map and it will show me exactly the shape that were being created. See on the map, the shape of making. Now, asteroid, And that's all our quick shots, so let's just look at master shots. Setting standard for this test. Again, I'll select the point of interest. Press start. And here we go, so the aircraft's just adjusting its position. It's going to take a series of what they call master shots, so it's going to go through all the shots that we saw before, but it's going to put them all together in one take that's going to run for two minutes. Hyperlap. So first of all, I'm going to make sure I'm still on 4K. Go back taking photos. Two second interval, 125 frames. Okay. It's now taking a series of photos that it will then stitch together. With hyperlapse, we're going to come back to that on another video because there's a lot you can do with it and it's better when there's a lot of moving objects rather than somewhere where people are just ambling around a lake. But next we'll look at Pano. 
So at the moment the drone is just taking a series of shots to make a pano. You're going to look at active track and it will do parallel and it will do the follow mode either in front or behind. We will start by drawing the box around me. As you can see, it's coming around behind me. I can take it kind of from in front. It's never quite so happy as doing this. If we go off to the side, it won't stay in front. It will come and track around behind. and start following me. So now I'm parallel. And follow me from the side. And we're in spotlight mode and just as I fly the drone around it will just keep me as the center point. It's going to be like a tripod in the sky that just turns around. Point of interest where we give it the direction, the speed, and it will do the rest. We can fly the drone around and it will just always keep me in the shot. And there you have it. I hope you found that uh, really useful, really helpful. If you've got any knowledge to share, please put it in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.